Hi, welcome back. It's Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot here today to do an all signs reading for Aries through Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see how your person or they, whoever they are, how they really feel about you. So this could be an ex, a current partner, a spouse, a crush, a situationship, a friend. I have no idea. Um, but before we get started, guys, as always, my spiel. Um, this, these are general readings, so not everything's going to resonate with you, and that's totally fine. Leave what doesn't fit here for someone else. If you don't know your birth chart, if you look below in the description box, you'll see a link that you can follow to get your birth chart. That's do I have hair on my lip? Jesus, we're off to a good start. <laughs> That's also where you'll find where you'll find out a book a private reading with me. They are currently open. They will be closing probably next week ish. I'm about to get pretty busy. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, if you need to switch or reverse anything in these readings, so let's say for instance you came to find out how you feel about someone and turns out this is how you feel about them, that's totally possible. Uh, I can't help what comes up, I just relay the messages, so don't shoot the messenger. Um, keep in mind free will and divine timing play more of an impactful role in how this turns out for you than a tarot reading. And timing is fluid, so some of you, this could be current, future, whatever. That being started, I really cannot... Say it together now, what's today? The 8th? Yeah, tomorrow starts the retrograde. I'm probably going to stutter a lot today, guys, and, and mince, you know, not mince, but screw up my words. Oh, Lord Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> Spirit, this is for Aries and their person. What is the energy between them at this moment, please? Aries and their person. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two cards, please, them and their person. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. If you can hear my lawn guy, sorry. He's, I waited um, until he was almost done and now he's doing my neighbor's house, like edging the... Anyways, he'll be done in a second. So you need to... So you and this person may need some time away from each other um, or you just need to get out into nature, right? Ground yourself, be around the water, the trees, whatever. Great time of year. Well, maybe not here in Florida. It's fucking 92 degrees today, but in a lot of places... <laughs> starting to resemble fall, so hope that's the case for you. Aries and their person, one more card please. Did one flip? No. Aries and their person. Unplug, wow, two cards about retreating and unplugging. Working less will help strengthen your relationship, so maybe you need to unplug from social media, take a break from your phone, uh, take a break from communication, I don't know. Somebody in this relationship may work really long hours or travel a lot for work or have just a very strenuous schedule. Spirit, can we have one of these lyric cards for Eric, Aries? I almost said Eric. Maybe that's a name, Eric. For Aries and their person. One for Aries and their person. I do. Go on. Mr. Make miss me. Misses you. Lord Jesus. One card for Aries and their person, please. This one. Heavy like the force between us. This is a very strong connection. This could be a soul tie. Um, this feels very thick, very heavy, very, um, and, and not necessarily negative, although for some of you it could be, but there's definitely a, a, an undeniable bond here in connection. Very, very strong. But I feel like you guys need to take some time either away from distractions, which is interesting I say that because the song that's playing right now is called Distractions by Zero Seven and Sia. Let's pull some tarot and get some more clarity. Spirit, can we please have um, five cards for how Aries person truly feels about them? Thank you. We have the Empress and the Six of Wands on the split here. I think they definitely find you very attractive. I think they um, like having your attention. They like your attention. Spirit, five cards. How does Aries person truly feel about them? Never fails. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. The Empress wanted to come back out. Figured she would. She's the Empress. Queen of love, queen of value. 
There could be a pregnancy or children involved in this situation. It certainly does not have to be the case. Y'all already know if I'm wearing a wig, I'm fucking with my bangs. Three more for Aries. How does Aries person truly feel about them? Five of Cups. Very disappointed energy here. Regret. Two more. How does Aries person feel? Ace of Coins reverse. So not grounded. No commitment here. Maybe no future. And the Ten of Coins reverse. Good Lord. Okay. I almost wonder if this is an ex or someone that you have children with or somebody that maybe you could have seen or maybe they could have seen this with you they they it's almost like somebody here saw life with someone wanted expansion wanted a family wanted the commitment the marriage the long term as ten of coins is long term but it came out in reverse which is no long term this is no commitment no stability right no offer so this could go one of two ways aries either this person had their heart and their eyes set on you right and there was a painful ending or betrayal or loss here to them it felt like they lost everything or this could be how you're feeling now somebody here may be struggling with work or money maybe they feel like you have it all like you're worthy of everything and they don't feel like they're enough they feel really disappointed in themselves um, a lot of guilt and shame around not being able to give you the life that you they, they think you want or not being able to commit to you, or not being able to offer you any long-term stability. Definitely they are struggling. I think they're struggling emotionally. They're struggling with their thoughts, emotions, and money. Or stability and commitment. I definitely feel like there is some, um, you guys need to take some space and get some perspective. Maybe this person needs to work on their finances, work on their own value. I feel like you need to just keep doing what you're doing, Aries. I mean, if this person can't offer you the connection or the commitment or the life that you want, then what's the point? But they're definitely bummed out. Hmm. I feel like they keep an eye on you. It's like they can see you doing well. Whoever this person is, they can see you doing well. So whether it's on social media or whether you guys talk or see each other at work, um, and it just like kills them. It's like they really wish that they could give you the world and they can't. This person could be married already. You could be or committed elsewhere. Yeah, definitely feel like it's time to ground yourselves, disconnect for a while and get some perspective on this because someone is really, really struggling with not being able to show up in the capacity that they feel like you want them to or need them to. Okay? All right, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement, Aries. Take care. Gosh, I haven't done a face-to-face -face in so long. It's like weird to look up to the camera. <laughs> Uh, this thing's getting matted. I'm gonna buy a new one. Next up, we have Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Taurus and their person currently? Two cards, please. Taurus and their person. So I did just see finances, kind of similar to Aries, and denial. Oh boy. So we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection and detach with love to clearly see the truth. Kind of similar to Aries. Detach with love. So not angrily, not passive aggressively. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So someone here is not seeing things clearly. As far as finances, somebody could be without a job, struggling financially, work too much, work a lot, travel a lot for work, have a lot of debt or obligations. And I feel like that's, that is one of the issues that is um, contributing to the kind of wonkiness of this connection. So Spirit is saying that instead of being in denial about something, it's time to detach with love so you can see things clearly and get some perspective, okay? Spirit, one card for the energy between Taurus and their person. 
One card for Taurus and their person, please. Oh, that's a lot. Let's wait a while before we go too far is the one that stayed on the table and flew face up. So again, this is giving some space to get some perspective. What's this one? All you ever wanted was a piece of me. So I feel like, again, somebody was not able to show up in this connection. Very similar to Aries. I'm not surprised. Aries and Taurus. What is it? Um, yeah, so I feel like either you or this person or maybe you guys together are deciding that it may be wise to take some time to, you know, get some perspective, figure things out, and then reconvene at a later time. Spirit, this is for Taurus and their person. Can you please tell us how Taurus's person truly feels about them with five cards, please? How does Taurus's person really feel? How does Taurus's person truly feel about them? Five cards, please. <laughs> of course. The Emperor, Aries energy. Somebody may work a lot, may have a really, really important job and it's like they just don't have the time or the energy to commit or put in consistent effort into a relationship. You may also have somebody here who's a little stubborn and arrogant who's like my way or the highway or they may feel this way about you. How does Taurus's person truly feel about them, please? Somebody here may run their own business. Knight of Wands. So, I'm gonna get the rest of the cards out because I'm getting an interesting message. Oh, lots of fire energy. Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, so conflict. Yeah. All right, two more. How does Taurus's person really feel about them, Spirit? Ace of Cups. Can we not go on the ground, please? My back is sore, thank you. Ace of Cups. Well, it's nice to see some cups here. Somebody's in denial of their feelings. Ace of Cups is right under denial. Oh yeah, and the devil, Capricorn energy. So I wonder if we've got two situations here, Taurus, that this could kind of um, describe, okay? The first one is someone who has a very important job, very demanding job, okay? This could be government officials, this could be someone in the military, someone who travels a lot, construction, a big boss, whatever, business owner. And it's almost like, um, like a power play. Um, it's like when at this person's convenience, they come in, but then they leave as quickly as they came. And I feel like there's been conflict and drama about this. Maybe you guys have argued about this or, or had some words, or maybe there's someone may feel like there's competition. But the Ace of Cups here for how they feel about you, there is love. There is, there's very fond feelings, there's love. But then with the devil, I almost wonder if this is, um, you or your person, Taurus, may be like addicted to this, or there, this may be some infatuation or obsession here. I also feel like somebody may be um, a, kind of a control freak, like my way or the highway, and I feel like whoever is in and out, whoever is unable to commit or be stable, I feel like this is, um, is he for real? <laughs> it's always when I do a reading, guys. I've been wondering when he's gonna be here. He comes different days all the time. Like every week he comes a different day. And it's always when I'm doing like a face-to-face -face reading or about to sit down and do a reading this. Anyways, this guy shows up. My lawn looks good though, so that's cool. Um, Taurus, I feel like there is definitely a power struggle here. We have three cards denoting that. I definitely feel like there is an inability or an unwillingness to commit or be consistent, but there are definitely feelings. So I feel like, again, someone may be more concerned with money than love, finances with the emperor and the devil. So I think, Taurus, if you're the one that feels this way about your person, that it's time that you detach with love, send them love, but focus on yourself. And it's under denial, which also says, detach with love, self-love, Loving thyself, you can't pour from an empty cup. It's definitely a very strong soul tie between the two of you. 
but it just feels like it's it's been really cumbersome. It's created a lot of internal conflict and potentially external conflict between arguments or other people, competition, things like that. So Taurus, yes, they have feelings for you, but I feel like it's a little toxic and a little complicated. So you may need to put your foot down and, and create some space so that they can reprioritize or you can. All right. Taurus, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement, Taurus. Take care. Um, look what I have today. I know. I know. I know. Don't. Shh. Shh. Calm down. All right. <laughs> Who lets me be on YouTube? I Spirit, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the end? Is that a fucking rabbit? Oh, it's a squirrel. It's a fat squirrel. What? What is in his mouth? Is that a pine cone? Squirrels eat pine cones. I mean, acorns. Makes sense. That was a fat squirrel. It had a big ass pine cone in his mouth. Somebody being a little gluttonous or greedy? I don't know. Let's find out. Spirit, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Gemini and their person at this time? Two cards, please. Go ahead, go ahead. Gemini and their person. Oh, one more. I'm not even gonna take a little sneaky peek. We gonna find out together. Gemini, calm down. New love. It says new love or recommitment to love is redeveloping, or sorry, is developing. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? The question of the hour, Gemini. So you're either starting a new relationship or reconsider, recommitting to a relationship or reconsidering a relationship rather that may be challenging your integrity. This could be a third party situation. This could be an ex of somebody you know. This could be an ex of your own. Something about the situation is, is questioning your integrity or your person's integrity. So it's not all like, there's something up here. You guys could have a different belief system. Maybe this would be a long distance, long distance relationship or a non-traditional relationship. Okay, let's get one of these for Gemini and their person. Spirit, what is the energy between Gemini and their person? One card, please. Thank you. This is more than a crush. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it doesn't mean that it's forever but this is more than a crush. So I do feel like there is um, genuine appreciation and genuine attraction here. It's not just like, oh, I have a crush on so-and-so. This is like, I really, this is deeper feelings than that. Spirit, can you please show us how Gemini's person feels about them with five cards? Thank you. Ooh, 10 of cups and nine of coins. So I definitely feel like they feel like you are a really uh, attractive and independent source of happiness and joy. They get, they have like very warm, fuzzy feelings when they're with you. I almost feel like your independence inspires them. I don't know who that makes sense for, but somebody here, Taurus, I, or sorry, Taurus, you may be dealing with a Taurus or have that in your chart. Gemini, I feel like you've worked really hard for what you have, or you are working really hard, or you enjoy a really kind of leisurely life. And it's like low stress, um, it's, you know, that's subjective. What's stressful for one person is, you know, a vacation for somebody else, but I'm just saying. Um, but I feel like they're, they're very attracted to kind of your energy and your lifestyle, okay? Um, Spirit, how does this person really feel about Gemini? Five cards, please. How does this person truly feel about Gemini? Oh my God, and four. Uh, Page of Swords reversed. This can be um, some bad news or some interrogation, a bummer, or not getting a message, like getting stood up in, a, in message form. This could also be spying on each other. You guys could be keeping an eye on each other. How does this person feel about Gemini? Queen of Coins reverse. Interesting. Queen of Coins reverse is unstable, unpredictable, um, does not value herself or their self. Somebody here may be, um, I feel like there's one person in this connection, Gemini, that is really financially secure and really kind of easy peasy laid back and has very low stress in their life, very low chaos. The other person seems like the way that they communicate is a little immature. So this may be like the silent treatment or, 
you know, online, like social media stalking, somebody, the other person, whoever's more unstable, I also feel like maybe doesn't have their finances together or doesn't have like a, a life of leisure. How does this person feel about Gemini? 10 of swords. Yikes. Maybe this person doesn't feel like they have enough. This person feels like, maybe this person feels like nothing they ever say is right or they don't know what to say. They don't have enough. They aren't enough. Ten of Swords is a painful ending or um, like betrayal, being really, really sad about something, feeling like something is over. How does this person feel about Gemini? Hermit, Virgo energy. They may be a Virgo or have that in their chart or you could. How do they feel about Gemini? Two of Wands, okay. So Gemini, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is not on your level. I'm gonna be very frank with you. Um, and I feel like this person needs some healing. And I almost feel like if, if you hurt this person's feeling, let's say um, you said something to them, you set a boundary or you said, hey, I don't think you're, I don't think we're on the same level, whatever. I feel like whatever you said or whatever you did um, really crushed this person. And I don't think that that's on you. I think that's on them. Because generally, if somebody says something to you and it's not true, it doesn't hurt. But something you said to this person or something that they saw, maybe with the Page of Swords reverse, um, really, really put them in their feelings. Ten of Swords. I mean, they were like, oh, there's no fucking hope. Um, this is really over. But then what's interesting is we have the Hermit card, which is all about soul searching and going within and doing healing. There's that same squirrel, but he's without the pine cone. He's stashing away shit. Yeah, I like it. He's squirreling it away. Um, but then it's two of wands back to the drawing board. And I feel like this person is, is mm, I feel like this person is going to be doing some soul searching. I feel like they are gonna withdraw their energy. They're gonna pull it back. Um, they're gonna go quiet. But I feel like while this person goes quiet, they're gonna be in their head and they're gonna be trying to figure out how they can change or how they can, not necessarily for you, but how they can change their situation, how they can heal. And then I almost feel like, Gemini, this person is gonna um, re-emerge at a later time and think that this is still maybe an option. So if you're still single or if you're single or, or still interested when they come out of this hermit mode, I feel like they may reach out to you and see if this is still an option with the Two of Wands. But I feel like right now, definitely the feelings are there, but I feel like the frequencies are too different and it would compromise this. Okay, that's what I have for you. Gemini, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement, Gemini. Take care. I'm literally gonna do this between every sign. So when I'm just going through my regular day, this side of my bangs does not act up. However, the second I start doing a reading, everything starts shifting and getting wonky and I almost feel like maybe my guides are fucking with my hair. I don't know, whatever. I know I'm expressive when I talk, but not enough to like shift my hair around. That's a little much. Spirit, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Cancer and their person currently? Thank you. Two cards for Cancer and their person. Hi, Cancer. Two cards for Cancer and their person, please. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth and chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. So I feel like there's a connection that you're involved in, Cancer, where there's a lot of chemistry. <clears throat> you guys have a lot in common or there's just fireworks, right? But somebody's in denial of something. So I feel like there's a need to take some space right, from this person, um, with love, not with malicious or, or, you know, but her intentions, detached with love, clearly see the truth. I feel like giving this some time or space will give both of you some clarity and perspective that you need. Maybe the chemistry is so much that we're ignoring other things that we shouldn't be ignoring. Okay, Cancer. One card, please, for Cancer and their person. What is the energy between Cancer? There we go again. Cancer and their person. One card, please. One card, please, for Cancer and their person. That's too many, but thank you. I don't care. Cancer and their person. Oh, there we go. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. So either you or your person, Cancer, are concerned about... 
I'm getting the word diabolical. I'm, I'm almost wondering if someone is afraid to speak up, afraid to take a break, or like afraid of someone finding out something or afraid of someone's wrath. Man eater. I almost wonder if um, Cancer, you or your person have an interesting track record or a spicy reputation when it comes to love and relationships. And while the chemistry is wild, someone here may be privy to that information and may feel like maybe they should take a step back. This could be you or your person, Cancer to see if this is all chemistry or if there's more to this. Because someone here is afraid that they're gonna get chewed up and spit out. Either from anger or like out of, like from a player, okay? Spirit, can we please have five cards for how Cancer's person truly feels? Watch out boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater, Lord. How does Cancer's person truly feel about them? Five cards, please. How does Cancer's person truly feel about them? Also, I'm not sure if maybe there's been some kind of communication error, miscommunication, ghosting, poor behavior where somebody's afraid to come back around and take accountability because they don't want to get their ass chewed out. Queen of Cups. So lovey, swimmy feelings. Feeling intuitively guided or led. This is someone who's very sensitive or feels like you're sensitive. I feel like they definitely have feelings for you, for sure. How does Cancer's person feel about them? Seven of Wands. This is blocked energy. This is defense mode. Blocking feelings. Interesting in denial of feelings. How does Cancer's person feel? The 10 of wands, lots of struggle, burden, obligation, responsibility, could also be guilt and shame. There's a sense of heaviness for sure. I feel like someone's been fighting their feelings or denying their feelings and it's getting really difficult to keep it up. Like keep up the charade. Feelings are only heavy when you hold on to them. Like if you just, wow, that is really glowing. Um, if you just let them flow and, and express them and it's easier said than done, I totally get it. Um, then it feels lighter because then you're moving with it. But if you are denying your feelings or holding on to old feelings or fighting things, six of cups, reminiscing, nostalgia, childhood, for some of you, this could be somebody you've known for a long time or somebody you have history with or even kids with. You could feel like a child when you're with this person. I feel like this person, there's a, there's a sense of innocence to you, Cancer, that this person really enjoys. Chemistry. I feel like um, maybe you or, this, you or your person gets along with the kids really well. So if you have kids, maybe they get along with your kids really well or vice versa. The chariot. There you are. Okay, so there is a hurdle here. I will say that there is a hurdle. The hurdle is either someone trying to defend themselves against the reputation that has preceded them about either, you know, they're a, ma they're a man eater, they're a fuck boy, or they're, you know, they have chemistry with everybody, or they're a player. So whoever has, if this is, if it's a reputation thing, whoever has that reputation, I feel like ha is trying to, defend themselves against it, but it's getting too heavy. And somebody here is just wishing it could go back to being like how it was, Six of Cups. Easy, sweet. Now for others of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone, potentially a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, who has been blocking their feelings. Because look, blocking feelings, in denial, it's right under denial, and it's becoming too heavy. So it's almost like um, either this person needs to heal some childhood wounds, or this person needs to kind of um, lighten up a little bit in the connection and not and not be so intimidated by or scared to express their feelings. And I feel like once that happens, then this can move 
forward with veracity in a specific direction. But until then, again, I feel like it's there's this holding pattern, or there's this um, hurdle. You could be definitely dealing with another cancer. But I feel like this is going to move forward. I do. Uh, like I said, I just feel like there, somebody needs to let their guard down. For sure. And also somebody needs to um, have some forgiveness and grace if somebody has a less than exemplary history in love. I hope that makes sense to you. Cancer, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement cancer. Take care. Love this song. All right, Leo, you're next. Spirit, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Leo and their person at this time? Please, two cards. What is the energy between Leo and their person? Two cards, please. Leo and their person. There we go. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting the connection and stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. So interestingly, we have financial finances and stability because financial stability is a huge component to a long lasting relationship for most people. Okay. So I feel like, um, I feel like the issue here, Leo, with you and your person is not whether you guys can stand the test of time. And if you're wondering that, the answer is yes. But I feel like someone here feels like they don't have enough or they need to reach a certain status or um, job or get out of debt or have a certain amount of savings or someone here can't find work or is struggling financially. And that is keeping this from moving forward because either you can't afford to move in together or you guys can't see each other because someone doesn't have a car or a job or travel. Someone here needs to focus on their finances, but I think your connection is fine, but financial issues are definitely a, a strong hurdle here. One card for, oh, there we go. Leo and the person, we're overrated anyway. Ooh, Loose Ends by Imogen Heap. Leo, either you or your person, I feel like it's probably you, may have gotten butthurt if somebody was like, oh, I'd love to see you, I'd love to hang out, I'd love to spend more time with you, but I really am struggling financially right now or they were making excuses, I need to work, I need to blah, 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 blah. So I feel like this is like a, a passive, aggressive, or like very snarky, like, well, well, fine, like I wasn't that interested anyway, it's bullshit. I don't know if this is you or your person, Leo. Hmm. I wonder if someone is definitely more focused on money than love right now. So it's like upsetting somebody. But there is definitely potential for stability here. So I'm not, let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does their person feel about them with five cards, please? How does their person really feel about them? How does their person really feel about them? Loose ends also does kind of insinuate that somebody is trying to tie up loose ends financially. So this could be like child support, alimony, um, a legal situation, um, paying off debt, whatever. Spirit, how does this person truly feel about Leo? How does this person truly feel about Leo? King of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody may have lied about their financial status or their stability, Seven of Swords, right when I said that. And whoever, just like I said, whoever is pitching a fit or whoever's like, well, fuck it. I mean, we weren't that serious anyways. Like we're overrated. Bullshit. Just like I said, that's a, that's a coping mechanism for her. Definitely feel like there's a lack of clarity or direction here because of finances. And there's definitely been dishonesty. With the Ace of Swords reverse next to the Seven of Swords, 
there's definitely been dishonesty, either about money, where'd the money go? I thought you said you had money. Huh, how does this person feel about Leo? I also feel like they're hiding, they're, they're hiding information, period, page of swords, but it's okay, but it's gonna come out. Okay, good. You guys could have kids together, it doesn't have to be the case. Or a kid. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It also does not have to be the case. Someone here is very sensitive. Seven of Coins reversed. Deciding to uproot and move elsewhere. So honestly, I feel like one person is more focused on love, or sorry, one, one person in this connection, Leo, is more focused on stability things, money, um, career, um, and may have maybe hiding some things. And the other person I feel like is either getting tired of waiting or is just finally like, you know what? I would like a less strugglesome relationship or connection. I feel like someone here is doing some digging to get some clarity. Cause it's like, if you're going to hide information from me and not tell me the truth, then I'm going to find it on my own. And I feel like whatever, whatever somebody finds out is going to cause them to uproot and move elsewhere and throw in the towel is what I'm hearing. Interesting. Because this is short-term success. This isn't stability. This is, I've gotten everything that there was to get or learn here and now it's time to move on. But we do have King of Cups. So there is feeling, there are feelings here, but feelings aren't everything. Love alone is not enough. If there's no communication, no clarity, if there's a distrust, if there's a lack of, you know, value or stability, that's problematic. All right, Leo, I feel like you already know what to do in this connection, so do your thing. That's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement, Leo. Take care. do this to myself you know I almost wore my natural hair from for the video today the reading but um I just cut it and colored it and it's actually looking really good but I showered last night and then my hair dried all crazy and I looked like Jimmy Neutron mixed with Sideshow Bob from the Simpsons and it just wasn't giving so then I was like maybe I'll wear a beanie anyways here we are with a fucking wig once more god bless whoever watches these in between moments I know a couple people do one of them is a Virgo, actually. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Let's do your reading. Spirit, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Virgo and their person currently, please? Got a love on me. Got a love deeper than that. If you're gonna leave me. Better run far away. I'd hate for you to leave me attached. So someone here may feel like there's depth missing from this relationship or this connection, or someone may be one, one foot out the door. Virgo and their person, two cards, please. Balance, one person is giving too much in this relationship. One more for Virgo and their person. Strictly sexual. Ooh. Ow. Okay. This connection is passionate but not enduring. So maybe you guys have like, well, you know, fire relations. <laughs> Who the fuck says that, Virgo? Whatever, don't come for me. Jail, immediately jail oh god get it together Lindsay. one card please for virgo and their person y'all can't take me anywhere can't take me anywhere not even my own damn house it's the wig i'm telling you what you got take another drag turn me to ashes ready for another lie diet mountain dew by lana del rey 
So someone here has been overgiving in a connection because of the sexual chemistry or the attention or the dopamine or the whatever. And they know that the other person is only around for sexual gratification or that this is just like a knight of swords lovers kind of thing. But it's almost like uh, that song Use Me by Bill Withers. Like someone is almost like, listen, I know what this is, but take another drag, turn me to ashes. I'm ready for another lie kind of thing. Like, and I think whoever is willing to turn the other cheek because they like the attention or they like the connection, this is taking a toll on them because this person is showing up more consistently and more deeply than the other person. Spirit, this is for Virgo and their person. Can you please tell us how this person truly feels about Virgo? How does Virgo's person truly feel about them? It's like one person is only around for the... And the other person wants to keep it around so bad or enjoys it so much, they're willing to just give, 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 give. Better not be you, Virgo. If it is, no judgment, but a little bit of judgment. Because my Virgos better know, okay, better know better. How does Virgo's person truly feel about them, please? Virgo, maybe, Jesus. Virgo, maybe you're the one that's um, keeping this strictly sexual. I know a couple Virgos that are... That that would not surprise me to find that out. Emperor. So the emperor here is in control, has a great job, is generally older, is in charge, can be a little arrogant, my way, the highway, powerful, often husband, father. This is the divine masculine. Either you or your person could be committed, Virgo. How does Virgo's person feel about them, spirit? Never was this nice you care for me. Like you never change, change. More things sound the same. Three of Wands, making plans for expansion, making plans for the future. I, hmm. I feel like whoever is keeping this strictly sexual has been giving little Easter eggs and tidbits of information to the other person, leading them on. And it's a, that's a, that's a method of control. I feel like whoever is not commitment oriented or commitment minded in this connection, Virgo, is letting the other person believe there's a future. And I think that that gives this emperor energy some semblance of control over the situation. Um, somebody here could be very dominant, very um, alpha. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Did I really just whoop? I, I went to do like a, like a gnarly, and then I looked at myself in the phone to do like a gnarly, you know, rah, rah, that kind of thing, like very like dominant and alpha dog. And it just, I turned into a puppy and now it has just been lost in translation and I'm woofing it myself in the camera. So that's cool. I just embarrass myself every time I show You guys like it, apparently. I don't know why. Spirit, how does Virgo's person feel about them, please? My spirits, my spirit guides are probably sitting here like, Jesus Christ, Lindsay, what are you doing? I don't know. My, ba my best is what I'm doing, my best. How does Virgo's person feel about them? The Hierophant reversed. So this is someone not trusting their gut. This is no higher level of commitment. This could be a broken marriage, a broken relationship, not stable, not committed, not godly, not, I feel like um, someone's spirit guides or gut are guiding them against this. Someone here knows there's no potential for the future, but they're still thinking about the future. What the hell is that? And not the greedy. Mm -hmm, that's right. Cause you see, baby, I love this song. Um, Virgo, someone here either does not want to commit or can't commit because they might be committed elsewhere. Or this could be a marriage or a relationship ending. And now it's time for a breakdown. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Eight of Cups, goodbye. 
Someone here is walking away because they're not being emotionally fulfilled. You can fantasize all you want about a situation, but it's like someone here has been giving so much and has been so open to this connection, Virgo, that it's like they are depleted now and they've been, they feel used up. So someone here is leaving. Someone may have been getting some advice from someone to leave or someone got some poor advice to stay. It looks to me like somebody's walking out on a marriage or a, or, a, or a connection because it's just emotionally unsatisfying and depleting. And they're walking towards a brighter tomorrow. Hmm. I almost feel like you guys were planning for two different futures. King of Swords, right next to the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse. This could be divorce, definitely. And with the Emperor, this could be attorneys, judges. This could definitely be a divorce. Maybe um, somebody stayed in this connection for the financial stability or for the status. Hierophant reverse is seeking status. Maybe the sex was great. I don't know. We did get the hanging man here on the end, which is Pisces energy. So there's been a delay. And I feel like there's been a sense of punishment here, or self-sacrifice in this connection, Virgo, where somebody has stayed either to punish the other person or to drag this out. And I feel like somebody finally is like, no, we're not dragging this out anymore, I'm leaving. It was completely off balance and someone is having to really boss up and make a decision. And I feel like, again, there could be legal teams involved, there could be divorce involved, there could be relocating, moving. But someone here is saying goodbye because it's just not balanced and it's not fair anymore. It's not, it's not, I'm hearing you don't get me high anymore. So it's like, it's not fun anymore. All right, Virgo, that was your very interesting reading because I am out of control and probably have a touch of the ADHD. Who knows? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. It's always right around Virgo, I start to get a little. Everybody that actually knows me in real life and watches these is like, bitch, you're always like that. <laughs> False. I'd rather do this in the in-between than fuck with my bangs through a reading because it's really annoying when I watch it back. I'm like, how do these people even like my shit and subscribe to my channel when all I do is pick at my fucking bangs anyways? That's why y'all get my hands 90% of the time. Spirit, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy currently between Libra and their person? Two cards, please, for Libra and their person. Okay, no. That was a lot. The ones I saw looked good. Libra and their person. Stability, this relationship can stand the test of time. So either you guys have been together for a while or you are considering committing to this person. And vulnerability, this is one of the cards that originally flew out. You can be completely open with this person. So I'm gonna tell you right now, Libra, the person you're, that's on your mind that you came to this reading for, if this is someone that you can see having a future with and you feel like you can be 100% vulnerable and apologetically yourself, I'm sorry, unapologetically yourself, if that's not that person, this is not your reading. The person that I'm reading for today, Libra, has somebody in their lives that makes them feel safe and comfortable and there's love, there's history here. And I'm not sure if you guys are already in a relationship or of some capacity, or if maybe you haven't ever committed to each other, but I feel like there's someone, Libra, that either you feel this way about your person, like you can be totally vulnerable with them or they feel this way about you. It's like, there's no walls, there's no, um, guards up, that you don't have to hide who you, who you are. You can make a dark joke. You can um, talk about your mental health without feeling like somebody's going to try to put you in grippy socks or, you know, tell you, oh, it's, you know, just take a nap and eat something. Get over it. It's, it's like some of this person like really listens. Interesting. Spirit, one card for Libra and this person, please. It's like, it's almost like there's nothing you could say that would make this person not love or accept you. One card for Libra and their person has, what is the energy between them? One card. Break up close. Watch out, you might get what you're after. 
That's from burning down the house by talking heads. So if someone here is manifesting a relationship or that's the hope, that's where it's headed. Let's pull out some cards and see how they feel about you, Libra. Spirit, how does Libra's person truly feel about them with five cards, please? Someone here is hesitating to be completely vulnerable and honest. It's like they almost say something and then they either erase the message or they, they stop and my nose is itching like crazy right now. Or they stop talking. Someone here is nervous. Okay. How does Libra's person truly feel about them? King of Swords, that just came out for Virgo. Somebody here is trying not to be vulnerable or they feel this way about you. The King of Swords is cold, detached, aloof, facts over feelings, very blunt. How does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? Six of Cups. There's definitely a fondness here. You guys could have known each other for a while. You could have history. You could have kids together or each have kids independently. Doesn't have to be the case. <laughs> I'm feeling like someone who feels like a kid inside, but they're very stoic on the outside. How does Libra's person feel about them? How does Libra's person feel about them? Like someone here doesn't like to show emotion because they think it makes them look weak or whatever the case. Queen of Cups. So someone here is very sensitive, intuitive, emotionally available. And exactly, I feel like the stoicism, what's under this, the, what's under somebody's stoicism is, or brave face or whatever, is a childlike sense of wonder and joy and, um, almost like a sense of nostalgia, like maybe you guys have known each other before and there's deep feelings here. Somebody may be falling in love. Six of coins, balance and reciprocity, getting what one deserves, putting in effort under vulnerability. Somebody here may realize that in order to keep or grow this connection, they need to give more effort, more energy, more time, more vulnerability, open up about their feelings, things like that. Eight of points, working on it, putting in the effort, putting in the dedication and the focus, learning new strategies, learning new techniques, learning new ways of communicating one's feelings, learning new approaches. This is working it out, working on it, because I definitely feel like this is a strong connection, but one person in this connection definitely um, needs to open up if they want this to go anywhere long-term, because it seems like up until now, they've been trying to hide everything, <clears throat> trying to be stone cold, you know? Um, with deep, you know, right in the middle, ooey gooey, ooey gooey feelings. So I feel like there's going to be an increase in effort or energy. And this definitely could work out. Definitely. This person may also fantasize about having children with you. I don't know if you met this person at work or school or if you guys have been to each other's workplace. Something about work here. But anyhow, that's your reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell for notifications. I will see you in your next reading or placement. Placement Libra. I can't get it together today. I almost made it through a whole reading without stumbling on my words. It's the day before retrograde hits. So I'm trying to give myself grace. See you soon, Libra. Where are we at? 54? Nice. All right, next up we have Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, this is for Scorpio and their person. What is the energy currently between Scorpio and their person, please? Lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Yay. So let me guess. It was really intoxicating, really um, lots of chemistry, felt magnetic, but also broke your heart or vice versa. Scorpio and their person. Regret, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Like I said. So 
So someone here may have behaved badly or may have misled someone or may have done something or said something that they now regret. And now the other person is like, hmm, okay, I guess this was a lesson. But listen, just because someone shitty comes into your life, Scorpio, or treats you shitty, I'm not saying they were a shit person. I'm just saying if they treat you shitty or they're not able to show up in the way that you want them to, there's a lesson in it for both of you. The lesson for you is whatever that lesson is, right? Don't, you know, set boundaries. Sorry, not, don't set boundaries. Set boundaries, communicate your feelings, have difficult conversations up front. The other person's lesson is don't be a dick, be more honest, you know, be more consistent, whatever. So there's a lesson in it for both of you. <clears throat> Spirit, can we have one card for the energy between Scorpio and their person? What is the energy between Scorpio and their person? Just one card, please. Is that one? It is, nope, that's like five. Dang it. One card for Scorpio and their person. What is the energy between them? Scorpio. I'm taking this one. It's on top of a pile of cards, but I didn't see any of them underneath. And this one, they're saying this one. And interesting, underneath is who do you love? Are you for sure? Simple prop to occupy my time. You don't get me high anymore. So this says whisper in my ear. I'm the only one you're loving on. So someone here either was not willing to be exclusive, was not honest about if they were seeing other people, would not give what the other person needed or wanted to hear or experience. Thought I went on with my own. That's from Electric by Khalid and Alina Baraz. Spirit, can you please give us five cards for how Scorpio's person truly feels about them? Thank you. How does Scorpio's person truly feel about them? If it's so. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you're gonna shit yourself. <laughs> so the King and the Queen of Cups that just flew out together. The King of Cups, this is the third time it's come out today and it was not stuck to any cards. These two found each other in the deck. So I feel like there was a deep spiritual or emotional connection here. And maybe that's why somebody fell in love or got attached. Also, I'm not sure that this is necessarily needing to end in order for you guys to learn a lesson. Does that make sense? I mean, just that is what marriage and relationships is, is a bunch of fucking lesson, lessons and blessings. That's what life is in general. But this is, you guys are a true pair. You guys could both be very sensitive, very spiritual, very intuitive. There's lots of love here. Big feelings. How does this person feel about Scorpio, King of Swords? Oh. Either someone here is trying to hide their feelings by being detached and aloof, or somebody here is dealing with two people because we have two kings on the board now. How does Scorpio feel about... Oh, sorry. How does this person feel about Scorpio? King. Now we have two queens. There's a lot of people here. Too many people. So maybe somebody here was married or connected or committed elsewhere, started a connection with you. So therefore they weren't able to commit. You know what's unfortunate is whoever was not willing to give or show up in the connection, I feel... Um, is experiencing something very unsavory in their other relationship. So it's like predictable, polite. Definitely feel like there could be a married couple here. It's like meeting your soulmate and they're already married. Like, ugh, what the fuck? That's maybe for like two of you. I, I don't know. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like there's a masculine who's married or committed elsewhere. And in order to be with you, Scorpio, they would have to admit some secrets, come out of hiding, make a painful, difficult decision, and maybe get a divorce or move out, okay? Oh boy. 
Um, I'm not sure if this person kind of goes between like really loving and really gooey to like really cold and detached at the flip of a switch. And I feel like that's got something to do with this queen of coins energy. So either it's a very demanding job that they have or a counterpart, like a, another connection, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But interestingly enough, and we do have, um, so we have Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now we have Pisces. High Priestess in reverse. This is somebody maybe staying in a connection or a relationship because they got poor advice, okay? Um, this could be somebody not listening to their intuition. Somebody has not been listening to their intuition. They're choosing something that is predictable or safe. But also I feel like any secrets are about to come out and somebody might have really end up regretting what they've done or said. I gotta tell you, Scorpio, if your person is the one that's in a relationship elsewhere, I feel like they're one way with you and they're a completely different, it's like they live, live a double life. They're completely different people with you and, and their other situation. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's about to come to light. Also, um, try not to be over-reliant on tarot with this. I'm getting that strongly for you with the High Priestess in reverse. Some shit's about to come up and come out. And I feel like there's a huge lesson in this for you. This could be a lesson about your value, about how to set boundaries, about how to have difficult conversations early on so you avoid this kind of thing or how to protect your heart, okay? All right, Scorpio, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement. Scorpio, take care. Grow. And I know love will be right here, be right here. You want to know a really weird fact about me? I only like room temperature water. I know, I'm weird. I love cold drinks, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to water, I had weight loss surgery eight years ago and it's like, sometimes it's hard to swallow some things still and cold water is one of those things. So anyways, room temperature water for me, <laughs> for life. Anyhow, how's my incense looking? It's done. I don't think I'm gonna light anymore. I think it's smoky enough in here. I'm gonna do a little adjustment in case my favorite Sagittarius chooses to watch today. Doubtful, but here we are. Oh wait, that's me. I'm my favorite Sagittarius. Of course I'm going to watch this. <laughs> Spirit, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy currently between Sagittarius and their person? Two cards, please. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So somebody here could be committed or just unwilling or unable to show up in the capacity that you or they, you get what I'm saying. Sagittarius and their person, one more card, please, for the energy between them. Go slow, take time to get to know each other. So Sagittarius, I get the feeling that this is a connection that has a basis of friendship because I feel like while it's not, someone is on it, so, thank you. This kind of ties back to a reading that we did a couple months ago. I feel like this is something where somebody, one person desires a relationship, maybe even both, but for whatever reason, whatever circumstances, that cannot happen. So I feel like there's still communication, there's still friendship, but I feel like it's either slowing down in order to like try to temper the feelings, or this is saying, as you're getting to know this person, go slow, don't rush into anything because this person is not able to show up for you in the way that you want or vice versa. Spirit, can you please give us one card for the energy between Sagittarius and their person? Thank you. One card for Sagittarius and their person. Thank you officially missing you so there is some distance you guys haven't seen each other in a while haven't spoken in a while definitely some longing and desire i feel like it's mutual officially missing you the song that's on right now is if i ever lose my faith in you by sting so i feel like at least one person in this connection sagittarius is still kind of holding on to this belief that maybe one day this feels like a, a soul connection that little squirrel. I keep seeing this fucking squirrel go back and forth in the yard and he's like collecting all kinds of shit. The first, it was like Virgo reading. It was like a huge pine cone. And now it's just kind of, anyways, gallivanting across me. It's fucking cute. It's really cute. I'm not a squirrel lover, but this little fucker's hopping like a rabbit. I thought it was a rabbit when I first saw it, but it's just fat. <laughs> it's 
Spirit, this is for Sagittarius. Um, can you please show us how the person truly feels about them with five cards? Thank you. Oh, interesting shuffle. Hmm. Let's try that again. Sagittarius and the person. That's more like it. How does this person truly feel about Sagittarius, please? Have faith in you. How does this person truly feel about Sagittarius, please? Queen of Coins. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Oh boy. Queen of Wands. So somebody here is unavailable because they are committed elsewhere. Without a doubt. If that's not the case, and I'm sorry, but I believe that's the fucking case. If that's not the case, I do feel like Sagittarius, your person sees you as very valuable, very grounded, very attractive, magnetic, dynamic. You could run your own business. You could do everything. Um, this could be a, a single person who takes care of the kids, the house, the business, the cooking, the cleaning, the, you know, they market, they're magnetic. This is someone who does it all. But for most of you, I feel like this is a commitment and then something on the side. And maybe there's something on the side is hanging around hoping that one day there will be a future. So they're like trying to detach or slow down the pace or the feelings. You guys miss each other? Oh boy. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Sagittarius, you could definitely be the Queen of Wands because this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then the Queen of Coins is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Three of Wands. Under officially missing you. I feel like you guys could live at a distance. Somebody could live by the water. Somebody could travel for work a lot. Um, but I feel like there's plans. I feel like there are future plans to see each other. Um, I feel like <clears throat> you guys may be even planning a trip together or planning a future together. This is expansion. Three of Wands is expansion. This is uh, having made a decision, now we're going to expand. So I almost, <clears throat> for some of you guys, you're actually planning a future with this person. But for, for most of you Sagittarius, I feel like you're planning to see this person. You're planning a trip, you're planning a visit. Waiting for an arrival or a departure. How does this person truly feel about Sagittarius? Nine of coins. So someone here is single, independently owned and operated, autonomous. And it's interesting because I feel like the person who's committed is looking at the person who's single, like they may get away because the person who's single, I feel like is a catch. Nine of coins, look at her, look at the falcon, bro. Like that thing is dressed to the fucking nine. Someone here has, it, Again, could be a business owner, is really good at their job, very attractive, financially stable. I'm hearing ticks all the boxes or checks all the boxes. Tick, 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 tick is what I'm hearing. Spirit, how does um, Sagittarius feel about this person? Eight of coins, which comes usually before nine of coins, which is focus, determination, hard work, and effort. I do feel like... Um, I gotta be honest, Sagittarius, I feel like you and your person are gonna keep pursuing each other or, or some kind of connection. Oh, ow, but I do feel like um, the universe is saying, don't get your hopes up and try not to look too far into the future and try not to get too attached. Try to definitely focus on work and your finances and your stability. But I do feel like that there's the, the connection is still gonna is still gonna remain and is going to expand, but I feel like whoever is the single person, right? is trying to slow it down because this person's still involved, which is wife, mother, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, whatever. This is the committed, whoever the person's committed to. And interesting, because I feel like whoever the side person is, Sagittarius, could be you, could be your person, I don't know. I feel like they always come second. So it's like, this is definitely the priority, the home life, the wife, the husband, the commitment, the job, whatever, somebody could just be married to their job. But I feel like the Queen of Wands energy, the per the other the person on the side that wants something, but okay, um, always feels like they're second. Like they don't ever get the best; they get the rest, and sometimes not even that. But I feel like this person, this Queen of Wands energy, whoever is on the side, is is really starting to understand their value and their worth, and is slowly but surely kind of detaching from this connection and focusing more on work and getting even more of those coins. So then they'll be at the 10 of coins and they will be virtually unstoppable. 
They're like, if you can't give me what I want, I'll give myself what I want, what I can control, right? Which is money, income, finances. I mean, there's lots of things that are in our control, but whether somebody loves us or chooses us is not in our control, right? Trust me, if anybody knows that, it's me. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement. Take care. De -de -de. I can't give my, you get yours. Ba, 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 ba. My, you get yours. Amy Winehouse. All right, hang on a second, guys. Alexa Skip. Ooh, this is my shit. Do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, get myself sorted here. <laughs> Hello. All right, Spirit, next up we have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy currently between Capricorn and their person? Thank you. Okay. Passion. Try something you've never done before. So I feel like there's a passionate connection here. One more between Capricorn and their person. What is the energy between them? Okay, seriously. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. I feel like the try something you've never done before could be try pulling back a little bit and giving less. If you're the one giving too much Capricorn, or if you're not giving enough, try giving a little bit more. It could be fun. You never know. Spirit, can I have one card for the energy between Capricorn and their person? Is my phone on silent? Hang on, guys. I'm going to make sure my kid's okay. All right, cool. One card. She's at school, but um, yeah, I got to keep my phone on for in case of emergency. Capricorn, their person. Oh, there it is. But friends don't look at friends that way. Friends don't look at friends that way. Friends do not look at friends that way. Hello. All right. Capricorn. You and your person are either friends or trying to pull the whole friend thing off when it's really a passionate connection. But someone here is giving too much or is too available or feels a lot more strongly than the other person. I feel like someone here has been trying to friend zone this or keep this in the friend zone or just go back to friendship because it's out of balance. But it's like, can you really go back to that? Once you've stared into somebody's eyes and told them you love them or seen a future with somebody or imagined what your kids would look like, how can you go back to being just friends? I don't know. Spirit, this is for Capricorn and their person. Oh shit, Nine of Cups in the Tower. I feel like this connection came out of nowhere for somebody and somebody did not expect to feel so strongly or so experience so much joy in this connection. Spirit, how does Capricorn's person truly feel about them? Five cards, please. Days go by and still I think of you. Hmm. Eight of coins. Somebody here could be really, really focused on work, on getting that coin. Someone's very focused and determined to make something work. King of Swords. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like this was a connection. Somebody made friends on it or somebody realized that they were in an imbalanced connection. So somebody tried to pull back and focus on work and just be aloof and emotionally unattached because they didn't want to be vulnerable. And that's where we're at. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Page of Wands, but there's still messages. They're still flirting. They're still, mm-hmm. But I almost feel like it's like that's as far as it goes. Like there's no commitment. There's no stability. There's no future. I mean, there could be, but somebody here is either so focused on work or just doesn't want to be in this connection that they just keep it at a level, which is Page of Wands, which is like, um, like I said, flirting, a little bit of passion, 
but it's it's generally friendly. How does this person feel about Capricorn? Three of Swords and the Knight of Coins. I feel like the lack of balance really broke somebody. Broke somebody's heart, broke somebody's spirit. May have even impacted their income. As far as like feeling sad and then you have a hard time getting up and showing up to work kind of thing. I feel like, okay. I feel like every time, whoever wanted more in this connection, Capricorn, every time there's a message or something flirty or whatever, this it's like it kills this person. Remember what I said in the beginning of the reading? Like, how can you look in somebody's eyes that you've said I love you to or you've been intimate with or you saw a future with and now all of a sudden it's just supposed to be friendly or somebody's acting like it's nonchalant? That's devastating. Like, that's um, humiliating and embarrassing and painful. But yet and still, I feel like we have someone waiting around just to see. Maybe this will go somewhere. Maybe it's just a slow burn. The Knight of Coins is strategic, is a planner, is organized, but is very commitment oriented. Moves very, very slowly, but because they, they're because they take a slow, methodical approach. So it's like the Knight of Wands and the Swords rush into shit. The Knight of Coins does not. The Knight of Coins makes needs to make sure that everything is in order. All the decks are in a row. Um, they have what it takes. So, I, what's really sad, Capricorn, to me is I feel like there's a load of potential in this connection. I do. I feel like there's a load of connection, but between pride and ego or somebody working too much or not just not being available to this connection or trying to keep things at a level so they don't get hurt or trying to keep things at a level because somebody is married to their job or committed elsewhere or, you know, somebody was definitely giving too much in this. It's caused a lot of disappointment and the fact that there's still a connection and still flirty messages and still kind of messages of hope really is breaking somebody's heart and spirit. But there's definitely potential. Like if somebody was interested in committing, they would. They could. I see there's interest here. But the fact that this other person doesn't want this is, is really hurting someone. Oh boy, I'd say focus on the money, right? Because money rarely makes us cry unless it's a debt, like a debt collector. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications and I will see you in your next reading replacement. Take care. <laughs> oh, this is such a shit show. And it gets even better when I bust out the call. Hello. All right, Spirit, next up we have Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy between Aquarius and their person? Two cards, please, for Aquarius and their person. Thank you. One more, thank you. Apology, you can expect the apology you want to hear, Aquarius, or you're gonna be apologizing to someone. Healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So someone did or said something that um, they need to apologize for and that came from an unhealed wound. Somebody either was triggered or whatever and, and there was some bad behavior. It's time to go back and heal. Whatever this is. Spirit, one card for the energy between Aquarius and their person. That's too many, but thank you. Aquarius and their person, one card. Tell me where to start. You know you can't hold me forever. That's from Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. So there may be a release or an ending here. Maybe a karmic contract is coming to an end. Someone is going to heal, going off to heal, or someone is leaving to heal from this relationship. Spirit, five cards for how Aquarius' person truly feels about them. Oh, I can text and see who it is. Yes, yes, I am God's favorite. Spirit, how does Aquarius' person truly feel about them with five cards, please? Eight of coins, effort, focus, determination, putting in work, learning something new. 
How does Aquarius' this person truly feel about them? Five of coins. So somebody here put in a lot of work and effort or, or was and feels like they got nothing in return. Could also be some financial issues or struggling for work. There's a lack here, a sense of lack. It's like I put in all this work and I didn't even get an apology when shit went awry. Five of wands, conflict, fighting, arguing, bickering, competition. I'm seeing, you know those, um, you know those tourist shirts, the tourist t-shirts? Like my grandma went to Myrtle Beach and I got all I got with this was this lousy t-shirt. That's what I'm getting. It's like I gave my all and I poured into this relationship and all I got was maybe this person caused a decline in your finances or hurt you in some way. And it's like, I went through all this for that. Interesting. How does this person feel about Aquarius? I do also feel like whoever owes the apology feels a lot of internal conflict. Six of coins in reverse. Yeah, there was no reciprocity, no balance here. Somebody was unable to give because they didn't have it to give. Somebody here was not getting what they deserved. Page of Swords. So this is learning something new. This is a message, communication. This could also be watching each other, spot, you know, keeping an eye, an eye on each other. I don't know if you guys have kids or a kid and maybe you guys tried to make it work for the kids, but maybe because of the conflict or all the fighting or maybe there was competition or financial issues, it's like, it's just caused a lot of strain in the relationship. So anyways, this could be the apology, but I don't feel like it's gonna be a really deep heartfelt apology. I feel like it's gonna be kind of flippant if I'm being real, very short to the point, not what you expected. It's not gonna be what you were hoping for because this person needs to heal. They may, like I said, they may have, they may have negatively impacted your money. They may have negatively impacted you at work, like embarrassed you at work or got in the way of your work. Or, you know, maybe you guys had it out and there were some really sharp words spoken and yeah, this person definitely needs to heal. But I, again, I feel like you're going to get an apology, but it's not going to be like some earth shattering, you know, heartfelt thing. So Aquarius, that, um, that's unfortunate, but you know what? If they can't give you at least a solid apology, let alone what you deserve, then you're better for it, okay? All right, Aquarius, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading replacement, Aquarius. Take care. We've made it all the way, almost all the way through, and I've only messed with my hair like 37 times. It's not that bad. Spirit, what is the energy between Pisces and their person at this time, please? Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, Pisces. So there's something you guys need to accept. Something has happened. Pisces and their person. Children. It did come out in reverse, so I'm not sure if you guys have been struggling with the kids, maybe getting along with the kids, or custody, or infertility, but children are important to this partnership. Huh, let's get some more, some more information. Spirit, this is for Pisces and their person. What is the, um, There's something here about either a child not accepting a partner or a partner not accepting a child. So that means that maybe the child's not there. So this is like a mixed family. Hmm. That's not for everybody. Pisces in their person. I can't fight this feeling anymore. But the feeling that's being fought, I don't believe is like holding back love. I feel like this is... Um, something is not okay, something's not right. Somebody has been trying to shove down something negative, like um, I, I can't stand your kid, or um, I really wanna have kids and you don't, or you act like a child, or there's something here that someone is just tired of fighting it and they're ready to accept it, right? Which is very good. Spirit, can we please have five cards for how Pisces person truly feels about them?
How does Pisces person truly feel about them? Five cards, please. Four of Wands. This could be someone you are married to or live with or were in the past. This is celebration, happiness, stability. How does this person feel about Pisces? Five of Cups. So either someone is married and cannot commit or there was a loss of this stability or marriage or relationship. There's regret and disappointment here. How does Pisces person feel about them? Knight of Coins. How does Pisces person feel about them? Three of Swords. Pain, hurt, ouch. I feel like something's been slowly coming to the surface. Something's slowly, like an issue between you guys has slowly been coming to the surface, but it's, it's here. Lovers in reverse. So we have Gemini energy here. It does not have to be a Gemini, but that's the energy. So I feel like this is either an incompatible connection or someone may have stepped out. Um, I feel like one person, I feel like one person was um, much more committed and connected, not even connected, more committed and more willing to give than the other. And when you have a card like the Four of Wands, which is all about balance, and it's not a balanced partnership, it's going to create heartbreak and disappointment. I feel like someone's been really, really sad over this connection, Pisces, you or your person, but now it's time to accept so we can turn around and look at these two other cups, because there is opportunity for love out there for you and or your person. But as long as we keep holding on to this and dragging it out, the more painful it's gonna be. This is not a perfect match. This could definitely be a breakup, a divorce, could have been an affair with the three of swords and the lovers in reverse definitely could have been an affair i feel like you guys just need to accept it maybe you guys have been staying committed for the children even though there was an affair even though there was um incompatibility so i feel like somebody's been fighting their feelings like i said fighting a negative feeling like they want to leave or end it for the sake of the kids or the money or the status but now somebody's like, I don't really know how much more I can sit here in this heartbreak because I know for damn sure that this is not where I'm supposed to be. All right, Pisces, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Certainly hope it helps. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in your next reading or placement, Pisces. Take care. Guys, thanks so much for riding this out with me. I know it was a shit show and you're welcome for that. Um, <laughs> remember, if you want to book a private reading, I am currently open and they will be closing next week temporarily. You can find information on how to book with me down below in the description box. To See, here we go. Mercury fucking retrograde. Remember to love yourself first and most, and I will see you soon for another All Signs reading. Take care.